Guys, this is Issues with Toddy Winskip. I am Toddy Winskip. Welcome back to our channel, our community, our place to hide from the real world, but to talk about it, because we can, why not? Guys, this is our place, and there's almost 12,000 of us. Man, unbelievable, and I just want to thank you so much, because it's because of you. And I know that, and I just hope that each video I put out at least makes a difference in your world in more of a positive way, or makes you think of something maybe you didn't think of maybe shows you something that you didn't see that way before who knows guys let me know i want to know what you're eating i want to know what time of day it is where are you in this big wide world and think about poor sarah boone sarah boone who's sitting in county in florida as she awaits the trial now which is set till october and uh Sarah Boone, you know Sarah Boone, Samsonite Sarah, Samsonite Sarah, who zipped up Jorge, George Torres, inside of the little suitcase and then videotaped it while he was saying, Sarah, I can't breathe, Sarah, hun, can't breathe, Sarah, babe, can't breathe, Sarah, hun, can't breathe, and she's laughing and mocking him and saying, ah, sucks to be you, and that's my name, don't wear it out, and all that stuff, and Sarah has been through eight attorneys. And Sarah is claiming that all these eight attorneys were mean to her. Like, I don't know if she was expecting a tea party or if, I mean, they're going there to try to help her. And there's no doubt that they're saying, hey, listen, we can't get you off on this. Even though Sarah says the intent was not there. I was just drunk. Well, here's the thing. You're still held accountable. Whether you've had too much to drink, not enough to drink, it doesn't matter. When you zip somebody up in a suitcase and they tell you they can't breathe and you laugh and mock them and record it, there's really no way out of that situation. So the judge finally said after eight lawyers, yo, man, you're doing this on your own. And she says, I don't want to do it on my own, judge. I don't know how to do half of this shit. And, uh, you know, I'm sure that the judge wanted to, say, wanted to say, well, you should have shut your fucking mouth and dealt with the lawyer I gave you, especially the last lawyer who could deal with very difficult clients, but you were one that she couldn't. Sarah Boone didn't want help because she had plenty of help. I thought it was crazy of the judge to go over by the third or fourth. I'd be like, yeah, you got this on your own, bitch. Take care of it. I'm serious. Like... Why are we spending money on trying to find a lawyer to work for her when each and every lawyer was working for her? You know, she wants some sort of miracle loophole that all of a sudden if you've had too much to drink, you're no longer accountable. If you get behind the wheel of a car, Sarah, and you're drunk and you kill somebody, what do you think happens, stupid? I mean, she's just a moron that is just wasting time now because the judge... Already has had enough of her. So not the way to start a trial, which starts in October. They say it starts in October. And Sarah says, I don't even have my discovery, judge. I don't have anything. And the judge says, yo, man, we're going to get your laptop. You're going to have use of it eight hours a day. No problem. You could look up everything you think you know better. Show me that you know better, Sarah Boone. Samsonite Sarah. Show me that you know better. Wouldn't it be something if she got herself off by some technicality? That would be, I would go to her if I ever got in trouble. But that's not going to happen, guys. You know, I really think what she's hoping for, and I've said this before, is that there is something that falls through the cracks, something maybe she doesn't get her hands on that she should get her hands on, something that would be a mistrial because of a technicality. You know, because that's what I think she's aiming for. I, I can't imagine that she really wanted a lawyer if that is the way that she treated each and every lawyer. She did make that great poster that asked for, what was it, a lawyer with, a, a zealous lawyer with a side of keen. Um, and, and I guess she forgot how much she was going to pay them. Oh, they were supposed to work for that bitch for free. And I call her a bitch because I'm sure that the eight attorneys that tried to work with her behind everybody's back when the microphones are off, that they probably called her that and even worse. Because here's the thing. You get these lawyers for free. 
I'm not saying that they're not worth anything, but I really think that she expected a lawyer to come in there and say, I could get you off of this. I know that there's a taped recording. I know that you're telling him to suck it up and all that bullshit and laughing at him and stuff, but I can get you off on this in a dream. But in reality, Sarah, you're not getting off on this. So start your trial. You're going to look totally ridiculous. She doesn't know how to file things. She said to the judge, I don't even know how to ask for that. Judge says, I can't help you because I'm not allowed to give you legal advice, dumbass. He didn't say dumbass, but I know he was thinking it. And the other attorney, I'm pretty sure, was snickering. Even though we didn't see him snicker, I think, I think he goes home and he snickers loud. This is probably going to be one of the easiest cases he wins because he's up against a woman who is so full of herself. So full of herself. I mean, she... At this point, you would think that she would know something because we know that she's been able to like represent herself now for a while. So she's never had any computer while she was there. She never looked up anything. She never made a phone call and said, Mom, Dad, does she have a mom and dad? Ex-husband, father of my child. Can you tell me what I could do? I don't think anybody's interested in helping her. I think she was a miserable person. I think she was drunk at 9 o'clock in the morning. That was the only way to tolerate life for her and the only way to tolerate her. And, and that's sad. But if you don't realize that you have a problem, I don't feel any sympathy for you. And, you know, Sarah's just trying to get off on, but I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to. That's not a defense that you didn't mean to or that you were drunk. Like, where did you see that? In what cartoon series did you see somebody get off the hook on? I didn't mean that. Sorry. Sorry. Didn't mean to unalive that person. Gee, can I get a second chance on that? Please, please, please. Yeah, it doesn't work like that. It doesn't work like that. So though I don't think Sarah is going to be as entertaining per se as, um, pro se, <laughs> as um, Daryl Brooks, who, you know, made a shit show out of his and a mockery out of his trial. You know, his, I don't think Sarah is trying to do that. I think Sarah is going to try to use her little noggin there, the Sarah Boone noggin. And, but she needs to get out of her way of thinking. Okay, you can't keep saying, well, I didn't mean it. Uh, I did not mean it. I didn't mean it. No matter how you say that, Sarah, it's not a defense. You have to find another defense. And, you know, I don't know what the defense is. You know, just mercy on the court. This is what I did. And, Judge, please find mercy on me. I'm an alcoholic. I need, I need treatment. I agree I need treatment. I'm sure if I was sober, this would not have happened, but I've not been sober. She didn't, read, she didn't say any of that. She didn't say, hey, I need help. She didn't say, hey, I did anything wrong. Nothing, nothing, nothing. So for anybody to show any kind of compassion, any kind of empathy, any kind of anything towards her, is there's nothing because she has not made herself sorry. You know, she has just found the excuse that I didn't mean to. I had too much to drink. I didn't mean to. Yeah, it doesn't work, Sarah, unless you step on somebody's toe. And you did a little bit more than that. Guys, this is Issues with Toddy. One skip. What do you think her defense should be? What do you think she should do? Throw yourself at the mercy of the court. Save taxpayers pay money and, uh, you know, see what the judge will do. And maybe he'll give you some years and some treatment. Because that's what you need. You know, you still got to live in this world, Sarah. You still got to live in this world. So, you know, I would start gearing towards that. All right, guys. Be better today than you were yesterday. Don't buy Samsonite. Okay, buy Samsonite. Don't buy locks. Keep them unlocked. Don't lock people in your Samsonites, guys. Take care of yourselves. Be kind. Don't forget, be better today than you were yesterday. Not half as good as you'll be tomorrow. Always be kind. Thanks, guys. Don't be Sarah Boone. Out in the boondocks.